Hey guys, it's nice to see you again and first of all, Happy New Year! So, this video, yeah, I was wondering whether to do this or not because I know that there are so many videos like this on YouTube already. So, um, yeah. <laughs> but, having said that, in the last few months, so, so, so many of my friends have been saying things to me like, Oh my god, how do you curl your hair with your straightness? Like, it's so complicated. Or, my bus is really loud. Sorry. Um, or like, um, oh, your hair's really nice, what curling tongs do you use? I'm like, no, I use straighteners. And they're like, what? How do you do that? So I, I've decided to make this video so I can share my tips with you. I'm not like a hairdresser, but this is just kind of something I've learned along the way of, I, you know, I can't even remember learning how to curl my hair with straighteners. I don't know, I guess it's so long ago. But anyway, in fact, I actually only use my straighteners for, for everything. To straighten my hair, to curl my hair, to like wave my hair. I don't even own curling tongs. Like, well, I do, but they're really like thin. The, like really thin ones that you can't use to like create really like tight curls of your straighteners. But anyway, <laughs> so let's get started so the first thing is sectioning your hair is really important to what kind of curl you want um, I have well I don't have a lot of hair so I can literally just do this and randomly make curls in my hair whereas if you have thicker hair you're probably gonna need to properly section it off another thing is if you want kind of more voluminous curls it's best to section it off so for example you would section it off like this and then curl this bit probably taking like exactly this much as well and then you'd go on to the next section do this and then work your way up and this but I have to say I don't like that kind of curls for me because I have a bit of like a roundy like fatty face at the moment so um, those kind of curls don't really do me any justice at the moment so uh, I prefer to have kind of more like um, I don't know, not, like not too much but if you want more kind of like bigger curls then I would definitely recommend doing it that way or of course if you have thicker hair then you need to section it off at some point um, so you can get to all of your hair but I'm just gonna do it like this today now another thing is um, so if you take smaller sections of your hair obviously you're going to create smaller curls so it's probably going to be more <laughs> and then if you take kind of bigger ones you can create more kind of just waves or really loose curls so it's really up to you but that's kind of like the basic thing in how to get the kind of curls that you want so aside from that also it depends on the length of time but I will give you an example of that in a minute so of course, firstly you want to use some heat protection, this is the Sebastian one. I'm going to be honest with you, sometimes I'm a bit lazy and I don't use any heat protectant. I just kind of forget, sometimes it's easy to forget. And then, oh, by the way, I need to ask you a favor. Don't judge me with my straighteners because, um, well, I have GHDs and they're white and I've had them for, must be about 10 years now. So they're not quite as nice and white as they used to be. So don't judge me. But uh, these 
So GHDs, I think they are so good. Like I just said, I've had them for 10 years and they are still perfect. Um, touch wood. Um, but yeah, they're just so good. I really, 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 really like them. Okay, so basically I'm gonna take a section here. About, yeah, about this big for the front one. So when I said about time, so first of all the technique is like you do as if you're going to straighten and then you curl around and then move down. That's quite fast so it's just kind of like a loose kind of curl and then if you do it longer You're gonna get like a tighter curl if that makes sense. So, one thing with these GHDs, I don't know if all straighteners have this now, but it kind of like twists round like this, which makes it really easy to do the curling motion. So, you just basically like this, and then you just move it around slowly down the hair. I mean, I don't really like no like as if you're going to straighten it and then you slowly move it around down through the hair and that's it like i don't know how to explain it better than that um and then yeah like you can see I just take random kind of sections of hair some are bigger than others because I don't need like want huge voluminous kind of hair I just want curls so yeah I hope this is helping <laughs> because I don't know how to better explain like the kind of hand movement but yeah um like hand down like this uh, actually another thing is the direction of the curls so obviously like I'm like pulling it away from my face that's actually now that's kind of brought back to me when I was learning how to curl my hair I kind of got confused with the way I was curling it because um, if I take it back away from my face, it's like this. And then sometimes you can kind of get confused and be like, wait, which direction? And then you kind of take it forward to your face. Some people, I mean, my hairdresser, when he does curls my hair, like he will mix up both ways. But I think definitely like the one, the curls framing, framing your face, you should um, move away from your face. I think it's um, more flattering. Oh, my legs are going numb already. Yeah, so that's one side done. Now the other side. This is, I think, the part where I always used to be really confused because it's the other side. So it's like, wait, do I still go in that direction? Do I go in this direction? I don't get it. So you just have to keep in mind, like, it's better to move away from the face. So, like this. And also... Yeah, I guess that can be confusing, right? Because when I go from this side of my face... Yeah. Yeah, it's a bit... It's just practice, basically. Like anything, you just need to practice. But those are the kind of general like tips I can give you. And... Yeah, as you can see, I'm just kind of randomly taking different size sections. Sometimes, after I've curled it, I like to twist it again to kind of keep the curl, like, structured properly, if that makes sense. Okay, so I think that that's pretty much it. So I usually will just wait for them to cool down. And then I'll separate them a bit and spray them with hairspray, so let's wait for them to cool down.
Okay, I think that that's cooled down. So then I just kind of take my fingers and separate them a bit. Like, as you can see, this is like a really kind of like loose curls. Um, I just think that it suits my face better at the moment because like I said, well, it's been Christmas and I've put on a bit of weight, so <laughs> a bit more of like a round face at the moment. Um, so these loose curls kind of suit me the best. But the longer, the slower you, um, you, that you make the curl, the more like tighter they'll be. So it really just depends on what suits you better. Sometimes when I do this, I notice that some curls need to go over like this, for example. So you just have Go in again. This one usually annoys me at the front sometimes. <laughs> okay, so that is basically it. I really, really, really hope that this has made it much easier for you to be able to use your straighteners to curl your hair. Um, and if you don't get it the first time, just keep practicing, keep practicing and soon you'll be able to do it. Um, yeah, so I hope you've all had a really, really nice new year, nice year so far. Um, don't forget to like, subscribe um, for more videos, and I will see you soon. Bye.